yo guys what's going on it's been a long time since i've done a video you know but i think this is the right time so guys a lot's been going on um just a quick update obviously i think when i last did a video was the beginning it was pre-season of of last season and i was just obviously trying to do a comeback to play and obviously i had a torn acl and i was told that i didn't need surgery at, the, at that time and yeah i was just trying to build up but it was a crazy season um i didn't really get a lot of consistency uh, I, I injured my thigh my hamstring you know as you do when you you're out for a long time and um yeah i actually injured my injured knee again which made things difficult so i didn't really play many many games um during the season and in the end i actually was finally referred to get the surgery so yeah i finally got acl surgery uh, reconstruction surgery and i literally had it yesterday like so i'm literally sitting here as you can see my knee it's not in the greatest way it's very swollen so um yeah like yesterday i was admitted in to hospital i went in about i went i got there about 7 30 in the morning and obviously they admitted me in um i feel like i ended up waiting until about 12 32 i had the actual yeah i had to wait till 12 32 i was actually called in and then obviously they, they took me down to the theater and I had to go under the anesthetic. I've never been under that before. It was a weird feeling. Like when they start, like they put a cannula in my arm, in my um, hand, and then they obviously injected some stuff. And I felt it like going through my veins. And then I started feeling really dizzy. The wall, the room started spinning. And then they made me start breathing something. And I started breathing, breathing, breathing. And, and then like, before you know it, you're just gone. Like you don't even notice that you're knocked out. So literally I'm knocked out and then like you literally just wake up a few hours later. So obviously I've woken up now. I'm on I'm on painkillers. I'm really obviously I'm happy that I've woken up because I was very nervous about the whole surgery thing anyway. Like it, I wish I didn't really have to get surgery, but I mean the way the last season went, like it was it was just obvious for me that I had to go that I had to get surgery if I wanna even continue playing properly after or just for a better quality of life as I get older. So yeah, um, had the surgery. To be honest with you, I cooked really well. I wasn't really in much pain. Obviously, I had painkillers. You know, I was in. A, I was lying down. I didn't really suffer. I was actually had quite a bit of strength in my leg. I was lifting it up and down and stuff like that. They put my leg on the machine from the moment I came out of, until from the moment I went onto a ward until the moment I like literally left. And this machine was literally like moving my leg up and down to. My knee was going up and then down, then up and down. It did that like for hours, just to keep movement. Obviously, because I was lying down, I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't even go to the toilet. I had to do my business in some paper bottle thing. It was crazy. But um, yeah, like the the whole experience was fine. Obviously, um, I just got released today, and I did a bit of physio, and I can't lie, it was hell. Like. You know, those of you who've got this surgery before, you just know that when you you can't even lift your leg up. Like lifting up your leg is one of the easiest things you do. You do it instinctively, but when you have surgery on your knee, lifting up your leg is a massive, massive problem. And obviously, this is what I'm going through right now. It's going to be tough, but I'm just going to kind of get little clips of what I've been doing over in on, um in the first week of my recovery. So yeah. As you can see, I've got this here. It's my best mate at the moment. I'm just laying down. My knee doesn't. It's, it doesn't look pretty. I'll be honest with you. Like there's blood here. There's blood there. They're gonna change this dress in the next couple of weeks. Um, it's massive. It's, it's like a ball. Um, I've got a resistant band here, which is just. I'm just kind of like pushing my leg towards it just to keep it mobilized. I'm actually trying to lift my leg up right now and it's not even lifting if I get my other leg I can just lift it but this leg is it's just dead it's just as you can see I can lift my knee up a bit but I can't even lift my foot like the pain is so intense so um yeah this is the situation that I'm in right now what's going on guys it's um day three of the recovery 
uh, as you can see the knee is still a bit swollen but <clears throat> it has gone down a bit um, it's still really hard to lift up my foot um, I'm trying to make an attempt at the moment as you can see I'm doing it with my good leg the bad leg I just can't seem to get it up at the moment it's just a lot of pain especially here obviously I had a meniscal repair as well um, so I think that has just made it even harder I think it was, if it was just an ACL repair I might have more success lifting my leg there are there is times when I can do it and there's times where I can't so just trying to get onto, my, onto the bed I have to actually put my good leg underneath and just like lift it up <clears throat> but it's not easy very very difficult so yeah guys if I'm honest like I've done quite a lot of you know movement walking around with the crutches but like again it's still really hard I can only put about 10% of my weight on my bad knee which is my left knee um, but yeah I'm getting around but like I said there's one specific point and I feel like it's my meniscus it really really hurts when I try to lift it up I can only describe it as I feel like there's a really sharp knife in there and every time I lift it up it's about to cut it's about to cut me and I don't know it's just really really sharp pain so I'm hoping that obviously will go down <clears throat> over the next few days but yeah still difficult it's only day three isn't it so I'm gonna keep trying to raise my legs and keep trying to um, tense my quads because obviously they're gonna be very inactive so guys this is day five mm, the swelling has improved a bit actually you know it's moved a lot it's still big but it's not huge I woke up this morning in a bit of pain so I went to get some ice um, to put on this side and then I put some ice along here um, third time lucky this is what I'm gonna use so that I can have a bath or shower just like I can't get through it so yeah I got it online from eBay for about 15 quid so yeah not bad so the updates for day five really are obviously sleeping got a bit better from like day three day four I had a decent night's sleep but I did wake up in a bit of pain because because you're really meant to sleep with your leg up, up, up. But I don't have anything to prop my leg up. I kind of sleep with a pillar in between both of my knees. And I just turn to the side a bit as much as I can. But I've been getting good sleep with that. So that's the main thing. Because the first three days I couldn't really sleep. Um, yeah, I leg raises are getting a bit better. But I noticed that. I can only really get my leg up if I really like, you know when you make them gym noises, like when you're lifting heavy weights, like Rrr! I have to literally charge up like, I mean Dragon Ball Z or something to get my, lift my leg up, but you know, I've been able to do some leg raises and um, yeah, I'm gonna, I've been able to like, um, fire my quad, so just like tense it. It's hard because obviously there's a lot of swelling and the pain. See, the pain's gone down a tiny bit but it's still hard to you know to um bulk up my um thigh but obviously i obviously you start now in it you know when once you start doing it it gets easier as it gets along so yeah i've been able to do that so like this is my thigh isn't it so um once i tense it you can see the difference oh i'm tensing it now you see it one two three four five and then let go, it goes up again and it tense it. One, two, three, four, five. Obviously, if you tense your good, if you tense your good fire, it literally does that, it even goes straight. You can see all the definition here. And then once you relax, it goes back down. But with this one, once you tense it, obviously my leg, this side doesn't go up. Some of you 
have watched ACL recovery videos before, you know that it's like it's not a, it's not an easy process, and especially the first week it can be very very difficult. So you know, I got um, I'm just gonna try and take you through that, and um, yeah, like today is like the sixth or seventh day. I'm not sure how to count because I started saying day one from the actual day that I did the surgery. So um, tomorrow is technically a week, but to me it's like it's been six seven days. So yeah, it's pretty much the first week, isn't it? So. I just want to like go through you know the recovery and yeah so guys yeah um day six um i'm gonna show you like what i can do at this moment in time um you know in day six the pain is like when you're sitting down it's kind of fine and then once you get up like all the blood starts rushing down you start feeling very very stiff and it's quite difficult but like strength wise it's really good um i can pretty much lift up my leg you know i can lift up my leg without too much like pain so which is good it shows that there's healing and i can do like a lot of my exercises that, that i've been told to do so it's looking good but obviously sleeping basic sleeping still it's still a bit difficult to get yourself comfortable obviously once you fall asleep you're okay but then once you're up again it's like finding that you know finding that position i'm still sleeping with um a pillow in between my legs so yeah let's have a look at my knee um it's still a bit big obviously my dressing is just mashed up still i am due to get that changed in the next I think I've got another week of this, which is not good. Um, you know, day six, my leg is my leg is still stiff. I can bear quite a lot of weight on it now. I can like stand up with both legs. You know, I just I'm just a bit worried about taking a step. You know, on my bad knee because I want I want the healing to be proper. Um, I'm taking painkillers like three times a day. Um, also as well, like a lot of things that they don't tell you about. Um my hamstring obviously i had a hamstring graft so i do have pain in my hamstring um when i sit down on particular surfaces or when i stretch my leg my hamstring does hurt and then obviously the meniscus i was told that you know a bit was you know shaved off or cut off or whatever so again i've got pain there so you know as much as this is like an acl surgery you literally have literally like three things done you have the acl reconstructed with the metal screws or whatever and then you have the meniscus and then obviously the hamstring so you do have different areas of pain on your leg but yeah i guess it's all part of the process isn't it this is my leg once it's straight uh there's still quite a bit of space underneath when i put my hand in so obviously that will improve over time but like with the leg raises I can do them with minimal pain now. Let's try one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, it was a struggle before. I had to really scream to get my leg up, but it is getting better. So I'm with the NHS at the moment, and let's be real, like. They're not really, you know, they're not, they're not calling my phone. I'm still actually waiting for my first physio appointment, which I haven't been told yet. I don't know what the experience is like with other people. I do wish I was under private care because I know that everything could be mapped up and set out, but unfortunately, not all of us have those privileges. So, but the thing about me is that once I become active, like once I can drive, once I can, once I become more mobile. I will be in that gym like I will be in a gym or at home I will just keep working like so as much as I, I, I do need a physio for these early stages and obviously going on but like in between I'll be doing hard hard work myself so I'm not really too worried in that um, in that respect but obviously initially you do need a bit of a boost so I'm hoping that over the next week or so I would hear from the physio and then hopefully we get it cracking so i'm not gonna like record more days i'm just gonna like leave it here and 
you know if you've got any questions for me just obviously leave it in the comments and i'll happily answer them for you um i will i probably won't come back with like a week two but definitely i'll come back after maybe a month yeah we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes and um i will be posting updates so obviously if you like it just you know leave me a like and, and subscribe if you want to see how i get on and see when i get back but yeah thanks for thanks for your time thanks for watching and um i'll see you guys soon